it is easy to both exaggerate and underestimate the scale of former President Donald Trump's support across the country. Despite acronym he and others like to use, it's not out of the question that half country will support him. But it is the case that tens of millions of Americans have taken notice and accepted his claims about politics and culture. This means there is a large body of evidence that seems to support his claims the movie 2000. Mules presented an unconvincing case that widespread cost Trump the 2020 election. But because there was a demand for evidence to that effect, the movie became a right-wing blockbuster. Economy of scale if you can get 5% of a 50 million audience to give you 5. You've made more than 12 million. I am not suggesting that Newsweek's cover story this week was intentionally written to make a similar appeal to the Trump supporting right. The once respected magazine's growing support for the political right has been well documented. So it's possible. However, it is not surprising that the headline claim Donald Trump followers are targeted by FBI as 2024 election approaches was taken as enlightening by Trump's base. This is despite the lack of evidence for this explosive claim in the article itself. Arkin offers some numbers and quotes, but none of them mean the FBI is shutting out Trump supporters as the headline implies. Instead, it describes a new category of threats posed by federal law enforcement that includes people who inspired Trump's violent actions as well as violent actors inspired by other ideologies and candidates. This may be a change in the FBI's approach, as Arkin claims, but it is not one aimed at broadly targeting Trump supporters. The gist of Arkin's argument Describing the extension of the group seen as anti-government or anti-authoritarian violent extremists is as follows to use violence against persons who have an actual or perceived association with a particular political party or faction of a particular political party. Although AGAAV Others' official statement makes no mention of Trump and MAGA. Government insiders acknowledge this applies to political violence attributed to the former president's supporters. This last paragraph is very important. Note that insiders are not claiming that this applies only to Trump supporters or even only to political violence from Trump supporters. This is a logic 101 test question just because everything in a belongs to B does not mean that B contains only things from A. The word criminal applies to bank robbery, but it does not mean felony crime, only describes bank robberies. In fact, an FBI document dated June 2023 and released in July provides several examples of what types of actions count as agave other. There was Trump supporter Cesar Sayoc, who sent inert s to members of the media, but there was also James Hodgkinson who opened fire on Republican lawmakers in Virginia in 2017. Examples in the FBI Document Inc.